Beth. I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. All right. Gotta get to higher ground. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know. Maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Is bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. We'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? For those of you just tuning the in, bolt. the manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce, the suspect in last night's university security personnel if you have anything to report. Somebody sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce!
My plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. The scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. Okay, good. Just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. here.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. The frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled, caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen, okay. and no one would know. Come on, hold still. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. 
If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen. In the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying... We go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Name's Martin Hatch. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotaged a Monarch lab. Potential ally? Not even close. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Hello, Riverport. Yeah. Well, it's been a rough night for us. The collision at the Port Donnelly Bridge that has claimed multiple lives is still being investigated. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. You think Will told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There. Where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. Console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. A perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine.
You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Huh. I guess you thought you might come back. been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack, there's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Climbable. There we go. Set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No. Okay. Let's go. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date, where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. 
I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. Someone's in here. 